Imagine a world where the boundaries between the seen and the unseen blur, where the mundane becomes a veil concealing a deeper reality. The Rosicrucian Hermetic teachings, steeped in centuries of mysticism, promise to unravel the threads that bind the seeker to the mysteries of existence. Embarking on a journey through the shadows of esoteric wisdom, the Rosicrucian tradition emerged in the early 17th century through a trilogy of mysterious manifestos, the Fama Fraternitatis, Confessio Fraternitatis, and the Chimical Wedding of Christian Rosencrutz. These cryptic texts outline the vision of a secret brotherhood dedicated to ancient wisdom, alchemical transformation, and humanity's betterment. Inspired by Hermeticism, alchemy, and mystical Christianity, the Rosicrucian ideals transcended time and space, influencing diverse esoteric movements. But what is this hidden knowledge that Rosicrucian hermetic teachings promise to reveal? It is the understanding of a universal language that speaks through symbols, the mastery of forces that shape the very fabric of reality, and the keys to unlocking the alchemical transformation within the self. The Summit of Illumination exploring the 32nd and 33rd degrees. The degrees within the Rosicrucian tradition represent a hierarchical structure through which initiates progress on their journey of spiritual development and esoteric knowledge. These degrees are a hallmark of many mystical and fraternal organizations, each carrying specific teachings, rituals, and responsibilities associated with the initiate's level of advancement. The 32nd degree, known as the Sublime Prince of the Royal Secret, represents a pivotal stage within the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, an organization deeply intertwined with Rosicrucian and Hermetic traditions. The teachings associated with the 32nd degree often focus on the themes of morality, brotherhood, and the pursuit of wisdom. Initiates explore the symbolic significance of sacred geometry, alchemical principles, and the interconnectedness of spiritual and material realms. The degree encourages a deepening commitment to ethical conduct, charitable endeavors, and the continuous quest for spiritual enlightenment. The symbolism within the 32nd degree often draws upon alchemical allegories, emphasizing the transformative journey of the soul. The candidate may encounter symbolic representations of spiritual rebirth, the quest for the philosopher's stone, and the pursuit of inner illumination. The 33rd degree known as the Sovereign Grand Inspector General, holds a position of utmost significance within the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, representing the pinnacle of attainment and recognition within this esoteric tradition. Symbolically, the 33rd degree incorporates elements of alchemy, mysticism, and esoteric philosophy. Initiates may encounter allegorical narratives that explore themes of spiritual ascent, the quest for enlightenment, and the transformative journey of the soul core principles of Rosicrucian Hermeticism. The influence of Hermeticism, alchemy, and mystical Christianity is evident in the Rosicrucian Manifestos. Hermeticism, with its emphasis on the teachings attributed to Hermes Trismegistus, provided a philosophical foundation for the Rosicrucian ideas. Alchemy, seen as both a spiritual and physical pursuit, was a significant component of Rosicrucian symbolism reflecting the transformative journey of the seeker. Additionally, mystical Christianity contributed to the spiritual and moral dimensions of the Rosicrucian philosophy. The core principles of Rosicrucian Hermeticism form the foundational pillars upon which the mystical and esoteric teachings of the Rosicrucian tradition rest. These principles provide a comprehensive framework for understanding the nature of reality, the interconnectedness of the universe, and the transformative journey of the seeker. The principle of correspondence, as articulated in the Hermetic Maxim as above, so below, as below, so above, underscores the idea that there is a correspondence between the various planes of existence. This principle invites the seeker to contemplate the interconnectedness of the macrocosm, the universe, and the microcosm, the individual. It suggests that patterns, laws, and phenomena observable in one realm reflect and correspond to those in another. The principle of vibration asserts that everything in the universe is in constant motion, vibrating at different frequencies. This principle suggests that beneath the apparent stillness of matter lies an intricate dance of energy and vibration. For the Rosicrucian seeker, 
This principle holds the key to understanding the subtle forces that shape reality. By attuning oneself to the vibrational frequencies of thoughts, emotions, and intentions, practitioners can navigate the energetic currents of existence and influence their personal reality through conscious alignment with higher vibrations. The principle of polarity introduces the idea that everything has its opposite, and that these dualities are interconnected. Light and darkness, hot and cold, life and death, these opposing forces are not absolute but exist on a continuum. The seeker is encouraged to transcend the limitations of dualistic thinking and recognize the dynamic interplay between polarities. By embracing and integrating opposing forces, practitioners move toward a state of balance and unity, transcending judgment and polarization to achieve a harmonious equilibrium within themselves and in their relationship with the external world. The principle of rhythm articulates the cyclical nature of life, highlighting the ebb and flow inherent in all aspects of existence. Seasons change, tides rise and fall, and life experiences unfold in rhythmic patterns. Rosicrucian Hermeticism teaches that understanding these natural rhythms enables practitioners to navigate the challenges of life with greater equanimity. By recognizing that difficult periods are transient and followed by periods of growth and joy, Seekers learn to harmonize with the cosmic rhythms and cultivate resilience in the face of life's fluctuations. The principle of cause and effect, often encapsulated in the idea that every cause has its effect, every effect has its cause, emphasizes the interconnected chain of events that shape the fabric of reality. Seekers are urged to recognize the power of their thoughts, words, and actions in creating ripple effects across the universe. The principle of gender asserts that gender is not limited to the physical realm but extends to the metaphysical and spiritual dimensions. It does not refer solely to male and female but encompasses the complementary and interrelated aspects of masculine and feminine energies within each individual. Understanding and harmonizing these energies lead to a state of balance and wholeness. The principle of mentalism posits that the universe is a mental creation and the fundamental substance of reality is mind or consciousness. This principle underscores the power of thought as the creative force shaping the experiences of the individual. By mastering the art of mentalism, practitioners gain the ability to consciously direct their thoughts, shaping their reality and participating in the co-creation of the universe. Alchemy as inner transmutation, unveiling the mysteries within. Within the esoteric tradition of Rosicrucian Hermeticism, the concept of alchemy transcends its historical roots in metallurgy and chemistry to become a profound metaphor for inner transmutation. The alchemical process, often portrayed as the transformation of base metals into gold, becomes a symbolic journey of spiritual evolution and self-realization. Nigrito, the dark night of the soul. The first stage of alchemical transmutation, known as Nigrito or the blackening, mirrors the metaphorical death and dissolution of the ego. In the crucible of self-awareness, practitioners confront their shadow aspects, the unexamined and often challenging facets of their personality. This initiatory phase involves facing one's fears, doubts, and unresolved issues, an essential process for purification and rebirth. Like the alchemist dissolving base metals, the seeker dissolves the impurities of the self paving the way for a deeper understanding and transformation. Albedo, Illumination and Purification Following the Nigrito, the alchemical journey progresses to Albedo, the widening or purification stage. This phase signifies the emergence of clarity, illumination, and an increasing awareness of one's true nature. The seeker, having confronted and transcended their inner shadows, experiences a heightened sense of purity and enlightenment. It is a period of introspection, where the individual gains insight into their purpose and connection to the broader cosmos. Like the alchemical substances turning white, the practitioner's consciousness becomes refined and attuned to higher frequencies. Citronitas, Awakening the Inner Light Citronitas, the yellowing or awakening, marks the stage where the seeker's inner light begins to shine. Having undergone the dark night of the soul and purification processes, the individual experiences a renewed sense of purpose, creativity, and spiritual insight. This phase aligns with the metaphorical emergence of the sun, 
the inner light of consciousness. The seeker taps into newfound wisdom, transcending the limitations of ordinary perception and connecting with higher states of awareness. Rabedo, the reddening and spiritual rebirth. The final stage of alchemical transmutation, Rabedo, or the reddening, symbolizes the culmination of the inner journey, the spiritual rebirth. Like the phoenix rising from the ashes, the seeker undergoes a profound transformation, transcending the limitations of the ego and experiencing a union with the divine. This stage is characterized by a deep integration of the spiritual and material aspects of the self. The seeker, having traversed the alchemical stages, emerges as an enlightened being, embodying the gold of spiritual realization, Arthepius, and the alchemy of consciousness. In the annals of Hermetic philosophy, the name Arthepius resonates as a beacon of profound insight, guiding seekers through the intricate labyrinth of esoteric wisdom. Arthepius, in his esoteric teachings, places a significant emphasis on the pursuit of self-knowledge as the quintessential elixir for the seeker's journey. Just as the alchemist seeks the philosopher's stone to transmute base metals into gold, Arthepius encourages individuals to embark on an inner alchemy, the transmutation of the soul. Through introspection, meditation, and self-awareness, practitioners uncover the hidden aspects of their consciousness, purifying the soul to reveal the golden essence within. Arthepius delves into the intricate realms of the soul, unveiling the mystical anatomy that underlies the human experience. His teachings explore the subtle energy centers, often referred to as chakras, and the channels through which spiritual energy flows. By understanding and harmonizing these energetic aspects of the self, seekers can navigate the inner landscapes with greater ease, accelerating their alchemical journey towards spiritual enlightenment. Arthepius extends the alchemical metaphor to the realm of emotions, portraying them as potent catalysts for inner transformation. Emotions, much like the prima materia in the alchemical laboratory, are raw materials that can be transmuted and refined. By alchemizing the emotions, transforming fear into courage, anger into compassion, practitioners harness the transformative power within the crucible of their own hearts. Arthepius explores the transformative power of sound and vibration, aligning with the hermetic principle of correspondence. Sound, when used intentionally, becomes a tool for resonating with higher frequencies and attuning the individual to the harmonies of the cosmos. Through practices such as chanting, toning, or sacred music, seekers can elevate their consciousness, participating in the alchemical dance of vibrations that permeate the fabric of reality. Central to Arthepius' teachings is the concept of the philosopher's stone within, the culmination of the alchemical journey, the alchemy of inner illumination. The teachings, encapsulated in the core principles and illuminated by the insights of hermetic philosophers like Arthepius, beckon us to transcend the mundane and delve into the profound mysteries that shape our existence. Through the alchemy of consciousness, the recognition of interconnectedness, and the transformative power of inner transmutation, seekers are offered a roadmap to personal evolution and spiritual enlightenment. As we navigate the realms of correspondence, vibration, polarity, rhythm, cause and effect, gender, and mentalism, we unlock the doorways to a deeper understanding of our place in the cosmic order. In the crucible of personal alchemy, guided by the wisdom of Arthepius and his contemporaries, we discover that the true secret power lies not in elusive mysteries but in the profound realization that we are both the seeker and the sought. The philosopher's stone, that metaphorical gold, is found within the recesses of our own consciousness. It is the recognition that the microcosm mirrors the macrocosm, and through the alchemical process, we become active participants in the cosmic dance of creation and transformation. Thus, as we lift the veil that obscures the deeper truths, we stand on the threshold of a boundless journey, a journey that transcends time and space, inviting us to wield the secret power of Rosicrucian hermetic teachings in shaping our destinies and forging a harmonious connection with the universal mysteries that unfold before us.